GTA 5. We beg Rockstar for a new game, and they say shut up and hold this DLC and like it. Nine years of Grand Theft Auto Online updates have led us to this point, and it seems the more content that they add to the game, the more chaotic the community becomes in need of a new installment in the GTA series. But you know what the catch is? We all still play it. The reason that Rockstar still focuses on this thing is because the revenue that they make from the game allows them to do so. And yeah, sure, I guess the game is like fun or whatever. My playtime on the PC version alone at least says so. But they've taken this game to the moon with the craziest ideas that they've implemented over the years with little space for new experiences to be had. But that doesn't mean they don't try. I mean, hell, sometimes they even succeed. One of my favorite DLCs that was fairly recent was the K.O. Perico heist where they actually added a new separate island that you could travel to and, you know, fail countless times on stealthing this mission. But now we're here in the present with Los Santos Drug Wars, the 37th update to GTA Online. I don't think that's accurate. I stopped counting after they added flying bikes. I've played most of what this new update has to offer and I'm here to either save you some time or encourage you to waste it based on whether this DLC is worth playing or not. Okay, so you load into GTA for the first time in however long your last hiatus was and you're gonna be greeted with a phone call from our old friend Ron. Yeah, Ron, remember him? The dude that was Trevor's personal punching bag in the story mode? He's back. And he's still a bitch. But now he's telling you to meet him in Blaine County. And once you drag your way down there, you're gonna meet your new main business partner, Dax. Drax. Drake. I don't know his name, but you meet him and you meet the Luchadora, all a part of their organization called the Fooligans. This is some cult gang full of stoners and hippies that have the main goal of trying to run the psychedelic trade in LS. And right on the spot, you're gonna notice that the head honcho, Drax, is a fucking junkie. Like, in your first conversation you have with him, he consecutively does cocaine, DMT, and then a drug that I've never heard of in my life. But that is the point though. As the DLC's name states, the point is to help Dax run the psychedelic drug trade in Los Santos. So after you help the Fooligans get out of a sticky situation with the Lost, you then earn his trust and he grants upon you a holy grail of six missions. Now these missions aren't full-blown doomsday heist level missions. They're more like those Gerald contact missions that you get, but just a little bit more difficult. You gotta go to a location, kill some people, go to another location, steal something. You can get through these missions in one ceiling if you really wanted to. You also get access to this new warehouse called the Fooligans HQ, where you can upgrade and get new separate extra missions from. One of these upgrades include having a lab to run your own little psychedelic drug scheme as if the motorcycle club drug missions are stressful enough. Now these missions aren't as hard as the main ones, but they add something to keep the players busy after they finish the main DLC. But speaking of finishing the DLC, once the six main missions are over and completed, you get rewarded with this transformer ass truck and a new dirt bike that I actually kind of like. Not to mention the decent payout that you get after each mission. And as expected, you know, this DLC adds some new clothes, a few new vehicles that I don't really care about because most of the high tier supercars handle the same, but just have different appearances and worse price tags. So if buying cars is your thing, I'll leave a link down below to showcase every new car added and plan to be added through Drip for you. Overall, the main DLC takes no more than four or five hours to complete in one playthrough. And it's all free if you don't count the ammo and upgrades that you purchase along the way. Like you don't have to purchase some sort of new bunker or you know warehouse just to access these missions, which is finally you know a good thing. However, nothing about this DLC was groundbreaking or even added something new to the game that we haven't seen in some shape or form before. So do I think that this new DLC is worth your time? I do because this is just easy money for people that want to grind and the missions are completely doable on your own. I'd even say it's the best time to play it because right now you get two times the money and RP for a limited time. 
So if you're just looking for some easy money or just time to kill, I'd recommend booting up this game just for old time's sake. GTA Online is a shit game, but this update just gives some classic non-alien warfare and straight guns to buns action that made the series so likable in the first place. So feel free to check it out if you can. So what do you guys think about this new GTA Online update, man? Feel free to leave a comment down below. As always, leave a like on the video, subscribe, 